Cam, high as you can jump. Get up there, Cam liked that one. He liked that one. He found one he liked, coach. Good. Welcome back, I'm Rod Thompson, Ranch Life Series right here. Joined here now by my man, Cam Parker. Just finished his senior year at Booger T. Washington, headed to Independence Community College, uh, JUCO route uh, for his first year. And Cam, um, first, let's talk about your experience at Booger T. I mean, you're able to win a state championship, COVID hit, not a good season. You guys stormed back, lost in the semifinals. So was able to uh, handle some adversity, be able to work. Just talk about your experience at Booger T. Uh, overall, I had a great experience at Booger T, being able to come in my freshman year, learn from players like Bryce Trace and even Mike. And then sophomore year, I had a bit of a bigger role. You know, I actually got to play a lot to start and we you know, tried to win another state championship. but. You know, of course, COVID hit, so didn't get to do that. And then junior year was a bit rough. You know, we went what, two and ten. Yeah. And then got past that, but senior year was great, and fucking like bounced back like, completely from junior year with the uh, semi state, state semifinal run. Yeah. High release, come on, good Cam. Keep that dribble low, Cam. Keep that dribble. It got rotating over. Get away from him, good. So working on your game, of course, you come here to the ranch. Tell us something that you like most about coming and working out here at the ranch. Um, it's always intense, you know, with you encouraging and yelling all the time. <laughs> you keep us in good spirits even if we're, like, missing and we want to, like, get down, but you keep us up. You know? That's the way you got to finish when you're tired, guys. Listen, whatever your high is, it don't matter. You can't be worried about nobody else. You got to jump as high as you can. This guy's good. Good, Cam. Good, Cam. Good. Oh, don't throw it in there like that, Cam. Talk about how it helps you. You talked about the guys you were able to play with at Booker T, guys you work out now that's at the levels that you want to get to. But also, you have a brother who is a Division I athlete, plays football at Arkansas. So talk about how having Kiwan there and seeing his experience has really helped you throughout this process. Uh, having him there helped me from a young age. She was always competitive with him. Like, we're outside every day playing one-on-one -on -one for hours. And that just kept getting, they like build it up over time and like seeing him get to the next level and then he like, he still takes me like probably every other day making sure I'm staying in the gym or having my little brother like make him do push ups and keeping him on track too. So that's a good thing. College, tell us what you liked about independence and why you made the decision to go there. Um, I like the, honestly, I built a great relationship with the coaching staff and I feel like they would be, they have the best coaching like all together to like help me do what I need to do and get right and get to the next level. You've worked, you really have worked on your body, putting a lot of time in. What's some of the expectations that you want to have or some of the goals you want to be able to set as you get ready to go to independence? Uh, I don't really have a main goal. I mean, you know, next goal, the goal is to get to the next level, but overall I just want to work and that's the mindset I have going in, so that's what I tend to do. State independence, Connor, state independence. Stepping back like that. Good. In the game, Max. Cam said, no, sir. Cam said, hell no. X say it's Sunday dinner time. It's dinner time, coach. Oh, good D, good D. Way to settle down, Cam. You got to be a lockdown guy. You got to be a lockdown guy at Indy, coach. So think about this, Cam. I mean, we've had conversations before. What would you tell a young a young player? So remember, COVID was going on. You guys weren't having a good season. It wasn't like coaches were calling you. Remember, we talked about this. It wasn't like they were calling. And you kept working. You kept pushing through. And then you had options to be able to pick through. What would you tell a young player in that valley right there where things may, you may question like, hey, am I really this good? Am I going to be able to? to go and be able to play after high school, what message would you get to that young player that may be in that valley right now trying to make that decision? Um, I would say don't pay attention to social media because none of that stuff really matters. Like, you set a goal and like you do everything you can to like get to that goal, so you just gotta work and everything gonna pay off. Good, Cam, good, Cam, there you go, there you Nice, 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 good shot. All right, watch this, watch this. Create space, Cam. Nice, nice, space, space. That's that shot we just worked on. Cam, that's the shot we just worked on. Something do you think that, that, that you think over the past year 
that you've really improved on with in, in on the court? What's something that you feel like you improved on that's got you to this point? Uh, being a leader. You know, I, when I was younger, you all used to be on me about it. I didn't like talking, and I, that's how I am off the court too, but I think being more talkative, that helped me improve as a player overall. And what, you know, I always talk to you about improving it, saying some words, saying extra words. What did you do to give you more confidence? Did you just work at it? Was it something specific that you did? What was something that you did to, to really get to that point that now, Cam will walk in a room, you'll talk, and before you would sit in the corner. Yeah. And, and, and I would always tell you, there's nothing wrong with that. You just got to improve, like working on your left hand. What are some things that you felt like you, you tried to do, you were intentional about doing to get better in that area? Um, it was a confidence thing. Like you put the work in on the court, you feel yourself getting better, so you're more confident. And so when you're more confident, you're more vocal. And that's like, that was a big part of it. Yeah, I could definitely see it in your play over this year, Booker T. Washington, seeing the, the leadership role and you really taking that role. I'm really proud of you. You're really taking that next Just time. give us a different move. Good, good. Big guy rotating over. Get away from him. Good. Got to get away from him. Get away, get away. There you go. Good. Gather yourself and get away. Okay, th th this is the portion we always say, you know, I always ask you questions, talk about you. I'm always the guy interviewing. Now you're going to interview. You ask me any question you want to ask me and I'll, and I'll answer for you. Uh, who do you see yourself by you? Ooh, man. First of all, I'm in a lot better shape. All right, five years. That's, that's a good plan. Um, I see myself... Um, being in a lot better health-wise, um, expanding even more with my businesses, um, things like this, helping young people. Um, and really overall, if all that improves, it allows me to be a better giver. So in five years, I really wanna see myself giving even more, you know, in a situation where I'm able to to help in ways that I've always dreamed about helping other players, you know, if it's ranch life, if it's many different things. So I know if I improve these other areas, Cam, my health, you know, my business, different kind of things, it allows me a chance to be able to uh, just give more. I mean, I get no greater joy than seeing guys like yourself and other players put the work in, you know, have those hills and valleys that you, that you go through, but being able to go off to college and continue to get better. So, I mean, the main thing that I want to be able to do in, in five years is uh, have better health and become a better giver. So Cam, now headed to independence. And I always tell you guys, focus on the now, preparing for the next. And as you focus on independence and working hard, the next, what are you preparing for? What do you look forward to? Or what do you want to get out of going to independence? Um, I look forward to getting to Division One level and playing on ESPN. That's that's really one thing I want to do. And then just seeing myself, seeing how much I grow over the next year, and just seeing where I'm at because I think I'll grow a lot. Yeah, it is exciting because I think that we pointed out your growth from your junior to your senior year has been been very good verbally. You know, working hard defensively, athletically, shooting. You've made you've made a huge jump. I know what I meant to ask you. How does it, when you come to the ranch, you work out, how does it help you working out with the Bryce's, the Anthony's, the, the, guy, the guys that's older uh, that are able to come here? How, how does that benefit you? Um, it benefits me because they're at the level that I want to get to. And so being there with them, I get to see like, they're doing the same, I'm doing the same thing as them and I can get there in one day, so. Well, outstanding job, look forward to the future, can't watch. Hey, I gotta make sure that I'm gonna be out checking out Independence, because Cam is there now, and so good luck at Independence. I know you're gonna work hard and I'm excited to see what the future holds for you. Thank you. My man, Cam Parker, this is Ranch Life, stay tuned.